The first reading is a reading from the book of Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you as I warned you before that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the spirit, the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faith, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. But not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away, for the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked, wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. My brothers and sisters, may our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes on mint and rue and every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment, and to love for God. These you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees, who love seats of honor in synagogues and greetings and marketplaces. Woe to you, for you're like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. And one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you're insulting us too. And he said, Woe to you, scholars of the law. You impose people's burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, hopefully you can hear me. I don't know what's happened the last two times I was in here, and it was mute and you couldn't hear anything. So, hopefully you can hear me now. But today we celebrate, as I talked about, the feast of our Lady uh, of uh, Saint Margaret Mary Alacook. And Saint Margaret Mary Alacook, of course, had seen the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Jesus revealed to her his Sacred Heart, and devotion that we all have to Sacred Heart comes from her. And I always love it because remember when she was seeing the visions and Jesus told her to go to the bishop and tell him to establish devotion to the sacred heart. He didn't believe in her. He didn't believe. He thought she was a nutcase. And uh, he said, if you are seeing Jesus, next time you see Jesus, you ask him what I confessed last time I went to confession. And so she went back to Jesus and he says, I know what she, he wants. You tell him I forgot. Isn't that fantastic? When we repent of our sins, we go to Jesus and we confess them. He forgets our sins. He forgives our sins. And today, there's lots of sins for us to deal with in the first reading and in the gospel. huh? You know, again, when I read these things, the Lord convicts me too, right? When he sits there and he talks about all the things that come from the flesh, immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, <coughs> rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissension, factions, occasions, envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. <coughs> I don't have all those, but I can be selfish. I can get fury. I have these things. And so it's just like, oh, what am I going to do? And then he talks about we have to live by the Spirit. Well, how do we live by the Spirit? He tells us. 
Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh and their passions and desires. So we do it by God's grace. And we have to sit there and deal with penance in our own life. Now again, that doesn't mean you fast on bread and water every day, but that means you and I learn to deny ourselves, not for ourselves, but for others. And when you and I do that, we can do great things because now we're living by the Spirit of God. The Pharisees and Sadducees, who Jesus goes after today, lived everything by themselves, not by the Spirit of God. When we live for ourselves, we have all those things that come from the flesh. When we live by the Spirit, we have all those things that come from the Spirit. What are those things? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generous faith, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So when we look at our lives, which of these two am I living by more? Let's God ask God for the grace to crucify our flesh that we may live in the Spirit. May you know his love today and forever. Amen.